I'd like to give you an idea of what happens when your course gets migrated from Angel to Desire to Learn and what your quizzes will look like. First, I can tell you that all of your quizzes will come across. Now, if you have short answer questions, those will not come across. Those are the one question type that will not come across. Uh, actually, if you have algorithmic questions, those won't come across either, but that's mostly for the math people. Um, so, but I want to give you an idea of what happens because most of your questions and most quizzes are definitely going to come across with no issues. So in Angel, if I want to edit my quiz, I would go into the content, I'm sorry, into the lessons tab. Um, so if I go to the content and go to click on content, this is kind of equivalent to the lessons tab in Angel. And what you'll see here, if I say I go into this course that has been migrated, here's my quizzes. And if I click on this, you'll see that this doesn't really give me an opportunity um, to go ahead and make any changes to the quiz. Here it is. Um, in other words, I want to edit the questions and all that. So in Desire to Learn, the best place to go and manage all of your quizzes is click Content and the Quizzes link. This takes you into the quiz area uh, of all of your quizzes and it takes you to your Manage Quiz area. Um, so you can see all the quizzes come in. Some of them may have dates, some of them may not, but they're all here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this particular quiz. And you'll see here's my list of questions. So there seems to be a whole bunch of questions in here. And your first inkling and your first thing that you would think of to be able to edit the question, if I need to edit it, is to click on it. But when you go ahead and edit the question, what you're going to get is a preview of the question, which is kind of nice because it shows you when they're taking it, what it looks like, when it's grading, and so on. Um, but that's not the best place. That's not the place you edit your questions. To edit the questions under the Properties tab, you click this Add and Edit Questions uh, button. When you go into that, you're going to be taken into a completely different interface, and you're going to see something that says questions or something like that. That's called a section. That's just a folder holding the questions. So if I click on that folder, you're going to see there are my questions. If I click on it, there you go. Now I can make my edits to the, qu to the, to the quiz. I can then go ahead and save that. Uh, I can save a new, make new ones. Once I save it, it'll then be updated. So that's the first indication of how the first way that what happens when you bring questions, uh, quizzes across. But I want to show you another instance um, where, you, let's say you have question sets in Angel and you have a set of, let's say, 15, 20 questions and you say to Angel, give me five to 10 of those. How do they come across when you migrate from Angel to Desire to Learn? So I'm in another course that has been migrated. I'm going to go to quizzes. And I'm going to go ahead onto this midterm review. And what you'll see here is you don't see the questions at all. What you're going to see is what's called a random section. And it will tell you that there's 10 questions in this random section and it's choosing from one. So how do I, how do I go and edit those particular questions? Well, again, the same thing. You go to add and edit questions. And then it's going to give you a, a listing um, of all of the random sections. Now, keep in mind, the random sections, as you can see, are purple, whereas the regular sections are kind of yellow. So if I click on that, you'll see that there's all my questions. There's those 10 questions. Here's this, where it says one question per attempt and how many points. I'm going to go ahead and edit this question because there's something that's really important that happens when you're editing questions that are in random sections. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And when I go to save this, it's going to come up with this. It's going to say question in use. Because these questions also reside in the question library. And so what's really important is that you not only update the question in the quiz, but you update the question in the question library. Because if you don't update it in the question library, if you then want to use that question again, it will, be ha it will not have the changes that you made. So it's real important to go ahead and do that before you click on Save if you have random sections. And then you say Done Editing Question. And now that question has been changed, and that is how it looks when quizzes come across from, from Angel to Desire to Learn.